Today we're on Valley Creek. Uh, this is uh, Pete Hughes and I'm Al Renzi and uh, we're part of the Valley Forge chapter of Trout Unlimited. And uh, today we're installing our second Mayfly uh, data logger from Stroud and that's in the background. Um, our second logger is located in uh, Valley Creek Park. Uh, last September we installed, we installed uh, our first logger which is located in Ecology Park right upstream from where we are. So you might ask, well, why are that we way. monitoring Valley Creek? Well, Valley Creek is a, a Class A uh, wild trout fishery, and uh, one of our key goals in the chapter is to monitor, maintain the health of Valley Creek. Um, it's a limestone stream. It runs about 60 degrees. Today is June 25th, and uh, our goal here is to monitor any future developments, um, and there is a development going in at the former Knicker, Knickerbocker landfill. So we hope to use the data from this logger, uh, which includes temperature, turbidity, uh, conductivity, and stream height, to really help determine what runoff and temperature changes, uh, turbidity changes that might be occurring, so that we can work with both the developer and the township um, to ensure the best management practices in terms of uh, this particular development that's going in and any future development. All right, here we are at Valley Creek at Valley Creek Park. Rachel Johnson is going to be installing. Al and Carol, Sue and Pete. There's the bridge. There's the park up in there. This is the spot that we are going to be installing the station. Clearing a hole for the rebar for the sensor bundle. The orange rebar to clear the hole has been replaced with the official sensor uh, bundle rebar and she's using a block so to not make the top of the rebar flange. Installing the rebar on which the sensor bunder, bundle will be mounted. I didn't know that. There we go. That's good. Clearing the hole for the pole on which the logger will be installed. Installing the bottom logger pole into the hole that was just cleared. Installing the coupler on the bottom pole of the logger pole. Driving the bottom logger pole into the bank. It'll continue down till that coupler is near the ground. Driving the logger pole into the stream bank, protecting the coupler with the board. One coupler that was being banged on is being replaced by a fi final coupler into which the next hole will be attached. Tightening the coupler with two wrenches. Attaching the top pole to the bottom pole Again, using the wrenches to tighten it up. Measuring the sensor bundle PVC for a specific depth has been drilled with a hole. She'll then cut it to length with the PVC cutters. Cutting the PVC to length.
attaching brackets to the back of the logger box to mount it on the logger pole. Tightening the brackets of the logger box onto the logger pole. Finalizing, tightening up the brackets, attaching the logger box to the logger pole. Attaching sensors with a hose clamp to the PVC to make the sensor bundle. Tightening the hose clamp to fix the sensors to the PVC. Laying out the distance of the CTD and turbidity wires to the CTD and turbidity in stream now. Fine tuning the sensor bundle and attaching the bundle pin to keep the sensors in place. Inserting the sensor bundle pin through the PVC, through the rebar, and clipping shut to keep the sensors in place, the sensor bundle in place. Nice job, Rachel. Connecting, attaching the wire sensor wires to the PVC with a zip tie, fixing the wires in place. Anchoring the sensor wires to the stream bank using tent stakes and zip ties. Zip ties are weatherproof, UV proof, securing the wires to the stream bank. Securing sensor wires to the logger pole using weatherproof zip ties. Securing sensor wires to the logger pole using weatherproof zip ties. Making her way up to the logger box. See the sensors have been attached to the bundle and secured. Al and Pete watching attentively. Wires secured to the stream bank being secured to the logger pole. Sizing up the position for the solar panel to get maximum sunlight. Securing the solar panel to the logger pole. U-bolt panel nuts. Securing the solar panel to the logger pole. Orienting the solar panel wire and attaching it to the logger pole. Tightening down the solar panel to the logger pole. Securing the extra sensor wires to the logger pole with weatherproof zip ties. Clipping off the extra pieces from all of the zip ties on the pole. And she'll go down here and do the same on the wires on the bank. Logger has been turned on. No, it's still off. Oh, it's still off. It will be turned on in a second right here. SD card here. 4G LTE board here. Battery. Sensors connected here and here. Coming out of the logger box here and here. Logger has been turned on. Note the cell lights. Blue light blinking, indicating transmission of data. When it stops and turns off, transmission has been completed. Cell board lights have turned off, indicating transmission was complete.